There are a ton of frogs around here. Seem disappeared, so I'm afraid that we have no dinner tonight. Well, I am back in this beautiful lake here. And again, dog was not with me due to his injury. Well, that's actually good news since there's a ton of frogs and ton of wildlife around here. And uh, maybe better for them to be calm and better for these firewood around here and trees. So he's gonna be back with us very, very soon. But so far, I'm, uh, let's be just find here in kind of an ASMR configuration here. So welcome back to Survival Land. Well, it's been a while, maybe two or three weeks. You have to understand that uh, right now in this time of the year when uh, forest fires come, I don't have much time as usual to film around here, all right? So today we're gonna have some hammock trip and I have here from a company called OneWind. They sent us some cool gear and we're gonna test out and spend night around here. You can see the frogs. Actually, that's a great dinner here. Now, we're gonna use tarp from AquaQuest. We're gonna use this sleeping system. We should be completely so fine. We have some nice food and uh, let's have some fun in some restaurant here. So the place is just, oh, come on, check this out. Place is just beautiful. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, let's check out this sleeping system. Well, here comes the rain again. 
So I thought that this is a under kilt, like under blanket, but I guess I was wrong. So this has to be just a blanket. And you saw that I had uh, two pieces of item in these bags here. So I guess this one and, uh, should be the under blanket itself. Now, what is the under blanket? So for your, all of you guys who don't know, when you go out here with a uh, hammer camping, you have to know yeah, it's picking up more and more. You have to know that uh, you're gonna freeze your back just in a hammock, especially this time of year. We are in a mountain, so during the night you have maybe five, I don't know, four or five degrees Celsius right now in the May. And if you sleep directly in your hammock, you're gonna freeze your ass now, trust me. From my personal experience, the best way to find something out is when you try it out and you make a mistake. And I made a mistake a long time ago regarding this one, so, I just have to figure out how to put this under kilt and I have pretty much idea how to do this so it's not going to be a problem but basically this serves beneath you to cover your back to keep you warm of course you're going to need your sleeping bag inside we have a nice mosquito net and I can tell that this hammock seems to be very very good quality so it's also not very cheap friend for all of you who are interested in it check out the links below in the description and you're gonna find it out. No agenda here, I'm just trying it out. We're gonna see it through the night. Maybe it's crappy, but uh, so far I can see by the stitches and uh, all kind of stuff, it should be very, very good. So, let's place this under, uh, under what? Let's place this, ah, okay. Okay, I can, I can see that it has this kind of buttons, so you can probably use that blanket to cover it and just to snap it over and you're gonna be completely covered, so. Let's try it out before the rain comes. All right, we have two parts. I could combine the other parts so made to cover just the whole of the hammock, but I don't need that, all right? I want my legs to be up there without the underkill. The reason for that is I get sweaty legs for some reason all the time, so I want them to kind of breathe tonight. It's not gonna be too cold, and I'm gonna also have my sleeping bag. Basically, I don't wanna cook inside of my sleeping system, and that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see how it looks like. Uh, we have this under kilt. It should be very nice and warm. There's some nice material inside. Doesn't look some cheap stuff. And uh, of course, I'm gonna place my sleeping bag inside. Uh, we should be completely fine. Next thing to do, place tarp above the hammock itself because we have some light rain.
our home is done for the night. I mean, man, I do love hammocks. And uh, during the past, I don't know, five, six years, I was never kind of a fan of the hammock system itself. And I was completely wrong because in this warmer weather, it's just awesome. So you just put it up and you have maybe half an hour of work and you have your home for the night. So sometimes it's good to, you know, admit that you made a mistake. Of course, for the winter time, that's a bit different story. But right now like this and when we have rain tonight, that's going to be pretty awesome. You know, it's going to be very, very relaxing. So. Oh, right now I have to put my sleeping bag inside. I'm gonna close this net here so we don't have mosquitoes inside. Although they do always find a way to bite you. So. Also we have here this cordage up which moves this net from your face and it's not gonna be annoying tonight. Uh, right now we're gonna light a fire, uh, make something to eat. Then later on I'm gonna see if we can do some maybe kind of a frog hunt and tomorrow so today this is gonna be the solo trip and tomorrow morning the guys gonna come they're gonna all stay canoe so hopefully we're gonna have some footage with the canoe on this beautiful lake also the drone and everything so let's get something to eat here I have to be pretty quick since it is getting dark pretty quickly. So this is my old fireplace. The rain not gonna be fast today since I'm gonna use just lighter. Nice blue sky color so I can find it. And it's very simple and quick so. Let's check this out though. So we're checking for some frog hunting, but I, as you can hear, you can hear them far, far away. So maybe you can see the stars also, but right here you just stopped making any noise. So I guess they kind of, I don't know, feel me. 
And uh, I see no eyes around here. And that's pretty weird since I see them here. But there, there are a ton of frogs around here. Seem disappeared. So I'm afraid that we have no dinner tonight, but we have some cool uh, steak for tomorrow for the lunch. And we have some snacks. Left. Dude, where the hell are the frogs? Come on, frogs, Doggo is not here. Nothing. I don't know if you can see that moisture coming up from the lake. Like horror movie. Well, I think I see... Come on. Nope. No frogs whatsoever, so... Let's get back to the campsite. Check out the moon up there. Time to go to sleep. See you guys in a minute. Time to go to sleep, guys. And for all of you who are thinking, dude, why are you not filming morning? You're just, you know, going out there and making this all look like night and everything. Dude, I don't know if you see that. Due to this net here. Out there. Give me a minute. <sighs> Curious trousers and completely darkness. So, I'm going that one. This light is killing me. I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. And I'm gonna actually have early lunch, I guess. Since we didn't cook anything, I had just some. Um, uh, I, I just basically, I, I, I light the fire too late. So for that matter, I didn't cook anything around here because we're in a bear country. I don't want to cook it during the night. That, that's something you should be aware of. But, uh, this light is killing me. But, uh, I had some snacks and tomorrow morning we're going to cook some tea or coffee and uh, have a nice lunch early in the morning. So, in case something happens, you will see that. So. Such a beautiful morning. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna try to show you. You're not gonna see that. Oh. <sighs> oh. So night was pretty awesome. And I slept like a baby whole night. And that is very, very rare in my life due to the kids and everything. So, oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get up. And my buddy came with a canoe over there, so we're gonna steal the canoe. I'm gonna go to meet him. And then we're gonna go for uh, to check out what we have on the lake. So, time to get up. for breakfast and I'm gonna take some chocolate bars that's the best thing in the morning I had the idea to cook the coffee but that's not gonna happen since I'm gonna take I'm gonna steal that canoe so you can see guys lake and all the beauties about it mm. so this one This one's gonna be more to show you the beautiful nature than the work around the campsite. As you can see, we have a hammock, so it's nothing spectacular to show you about building it. You just put it and sleep in it, but uh, I'm gonna show you some beautiful nature around here. And then we're gonna have our lunch in, I don't know, 
9 a.m. I guess. So morning paddling here on this beautiful lake. I don't know how much can you can see, but I'm gonna make a turn. And I need this glasses on. Do the really, really sun hitting in my eyes. Let me show you the whole place around. It's just beautiful. Ton of fish inside here. But we're not gonna do any fishing. We're just gonna do some floating around so this place is amazing let me show you After a nice canoeing on this lake, well, it's time to have some meal. So I'm gonna have my steak done. So sorry guys for last night, and I was just so weak and tired, and I had a long walk on the lake. So for that matter, I didn't cook last night, so no ASMR cooking here. And the uh, issue is, my battery is pretty low, so we're gonna have to say goodbye over here. Uh, right now what I have to do is just pick everything up, and uh, then I'm gonna just enjoy with my buddy there and uh, in this beautiful area. It's just, it's, it's awesome, okay? And uh, I know that it's pretty hard to show you on a cam how it looks like. You have to visit this place. You have to visit this place. If you're in Europe or something, I'm gonna guide you for no cost around here just to see that. It's just nature here in Croatia is just awesome. So. Dogo, Chris Dogo is coming back soon, so I know that this one was a bit different, but you know, kind of relaxed and just uh, showing nature and uh, some sleeping system. But in future we're gonna continue as usual what we do. And uh, that's pretty much it, so thank you all for watching, especially to my patrons, because they, with their donations of 1, 2, 3 euros, some even more, thank you TJ, well, they bought all the gear that you're watching me from and uh, that's pretty much it, so thanks again as always, I'm gonna see you very very soon, so have a nice one.